G'day. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the basics of Animaker.com, which is an online tool for making animated videos and whiteboard videos. And if you saw my last video, um, I use the whiteboard side of it to do that, and that's what we're going to have a look at today. Just before we get into it, I'd like to recommend that if you're going to try this, that you actually work out the script and actually write down what it is that you like to say or how it is that you'd like to proceed, how many screens you'd like to make, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about once we jump into it. So let's go. So here it is, animaker.com. I'm at the dashboard. I've already logged in, as you can see. And uh, if you aren't logged in or you don't have an account, it's very easy. You simply register your um, email like you do on most accounts, uh, most um, tools, and you can then jump straight into it. So let's go. We're going to hit create a video, which is going to bring us over to this page, which is the dashboard. Now, as long as you've got all plans and all categories clicked, then you're going to see this screen. And these are a bunch of samples here that you can use and overwrite but we're not going to use that today. We're going to go straight into a blank one, which is this one here. So I'm going to click use. It'll then take a second just to generate that up for me and it'll save it for me. Now let's have, what's this say? We notice the flash was disabled on your browser. So I'm just going to enable flash and we'll reload the site with flash enabled. And here we go, it's loading up. So basically, I'm going to um, uh, create about five slides. In that regard, it's a little bit like PowerPoint, I suppose. And um, then we're going to um, see how, what we can do to, uh, to adjust, to change things, and to, to create something that's a bit more interesting. So here we go. We've got a, um, a blank whiteboard here. We can actually change that whiteboard on this tool simply by going to um, screens or backgrounds here, this one on my right-hand side. And if I click on whiteboard, uh, here we're currently seeing two, the, all the backgrounds for 2D. I could use any of those. Um, example, I could use that and use a blackboard impression or um, this one, which is kind of like a, a whiteboard notice board kind of effect. And there's a bunch of others as well down there. But if I want to just check out the whiteboard ones, I'll change this 2D to whiteboard. And this will allow me to pick either a whiteboard, a blackboard, a glass board, stitch board, or notepad. We're just going to stick with whiteboard for today. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. And the first thing I'm going to do is look at my first screen uh, that I want to create. As you'll see, there's number one on here, and I'll be able to add more screens down here as we go on the left-hand side. So the first line of my um, tool is going to, sorry, the first line of my story is going to read, um, on my holidays I went skiing. So I'm going to use a whiteboard image that um, it will allow me to, to show a picture of uh, character skiing. So I'm going to go into characters here. And we're currently looking at all of the whiteboard um, categories. Each of these represents a category. There's way more pictures than just these ones here. And as you can see, you can also break them down by basic, corporate, fun, health, adventure, vacation, and technology. So for the skiing option, I'm going to go with adventure because I'm sure that there's some adventure um, skiing photos in there. I remember seeing them from when I scrolled through. And that's a little tip for you. When you first start this, I suggest you maybe have a look through all the different characters and see what sort of stories you might like to make by using this tool. So I'll click on the, uh, the guy here. And that just brings up the first generic guy. There he is there. But over on this side, look, there's all these adventure tools that pop up. And remember I said my first line was, on my holidays I went skiing. And this is a true story, by the way. Those of you who don't know, I did go skiing just re recently and uh, it didn't all end well. <laughs> so let's click on the skier. So I'm going to put him in there. And now I can actually just move this guy simply by clicking on, as you can see, there's a move um, arrow there. I can move this anywhere on the screen and I can enlarge it anywhere on the screen I like. And while it's still um, just a black and white image, I can add color if I want to by going up here to the color image and um, clicking on that, putting in the fill. And as you can see, it defaults to this green, but you can actually change it to any color you like. So I might change mine to blue. Um, and click out of that 
And then if I wanted to just play this, you'll see that this is drawn as a whiteboard. So to do that and just play this particular scene, this um, number one scene, I simply press the play button. And as you can see, there you go, it's drawn. It's drawn very quickly and I can change the length of, or duration of the um, drawing simply by clicking on him again. And down here on the bottom, you'll see there's a timeline. The orange part represents the actual drawing and the yellow part represents the length of this particular screen, which is 10 seconds, as you can see over here. And you can adjust that to more or less. So if I want to slow down the drawing, I simply um, stretch out the amount of time it takes to draw. If I stretch that out to eight seconds, for example, and now we play it, you'll see it's taking a much longer time. To draw that image and there we go now he's finished so what I wanted to do on this screen apart from just drawing in I want to actually add the text of on my holiday I went skiing so to do that I'm going to close the character out I'm going to click on text over here on this side it's now going to allow me the option of putting in either just direct text as you can see there it'll just simply give me text on the screen or I could actually select one of these speech bubbles if I wanted to go that way. I'll just delete that one off because I'm just going to stick with the plain text for now. So there's a text that I'm going to um, edit to suit myself and I'll actually close this down to give me more room on the screen. And I'm going to write on my holidays I went skiing. So I double click in there and then I can simply type that in on my holidays I went skiing. And now I can drag that um, box to increase or decrease the size of the print. And let's put it somewhere down there in the middle. In fact, I might even just put a comma in here and put this, push this down to the next line, make that look more um, balanced. And from here, you can actually change fonts and things like that. So to do that, I would then click on my settings, which will allow me now to select other options. So can check any one of the settings. Let's go for, will we stick with Oriel script? Um, okay, and you see that's actually a smaller font, which we can then uh, increase simply by adjusting the size of this box. We'll stick with Oreo script for now. So if I actually adjust this box in, you'll see that text doesn't change simply because I'm moving, unless I move it in right up to the text and then it will shrink down. So if I bring it in just to here and then I grab a corner, that'll allow me to move that in and out like that. All right, and then if I uh, look at the animation, you'll see the orange bit down the bottom here. It's around the, doing it at the same time as I drew the man, and I'd rather not see it like that. So in order to do that, I'm gonna grab the front end of the animation part, and I'm gonna move that part right up to about five, perhaps. And then I might stretch the rest of it right up to the end. So let's play it from the beginning. To do that, I'm just going to move that marker back. And if I hit play now, you'll see it draws the man first. And that was an eight seconds. So the text is actually going to start. Now, I'm not real keen on having two hands on the screen at the one time. And you can actually change that as well. So if I click on the man, for example, um, as you know, I've already explained, we've got this drawn as, as eight seconds but I can remove the hand. To do that, I click on the effects up here, right there, click on that, and allow me to either do it with hand or just as a line by itself. There's some options down the bottom as well that you can choose. It can be drawn as a marker. Have a look at the quality of the line as I change and click on each of these. So that didn't change anything, but that one did, and that one did, and that one, and that one. So it does give you a variety of options down here, even down to pencil and glass marker and stitching. So it's a variety of things. I'm going to stick with marker and I'm going to click on line. That way I've removed the hand and uh, that gives me that option there. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you was on the text part of it. So I'll click on the text and you can check between characters on your screen. I'm going to click on this part here, text. When I click on that, and now I'm going to go to the effects option on the text and you'll see it, this allows me to um, click on whiteboard. I can select my options there and actually ch change 
what I'm drawing on this side of it as well. So um, I'll just get out of that. So now if we draw it without the hand as you saw, um, let me also explain briefly that you can actually have an exit function on this as well. So we could put in here, I've still got the text highlighted. If I select the effects down the bottom here, I could do a whiteboard eraser, which would rub out the text when it's finally finished, or um, there's some other options that you can select and play around with from this point. I'm not going to bother with that for the moment though. So now if I just do one last play on this, you'll see, there you go, it's actually doing the rest of it. Now you see it didn't play from the beginning because I didn't have the um, this uh, marker here taken to the beginning. Let's add the second slide. All right, so I'm going to go to add slide. And this time I've got a number two slide here. I'm going to write, I did pretty well for a few days. So I'm going to add another image. I'm going to go back up here to character and click on my character again. And hopefully, there we go, there he is. And click on him. And if we don't get that come up automatically on the side, all those selections like we did previously, you can just go up here to um, properties. When you click on that, there are all those characters again. So I'm going to draw a picture of me. Whoops, I've got two there. Maybe I double clicked it too many times. So I'll click on this bloke and remove him. So here's me skiing. And this time I'm going to um, actually make this as an animation. I'm going to, instead of just a whiteboard drawing, I'm going to have this guy slide from here. Actually, we'll have him slide from off screen virtually and we'll slide him down to the bottom corner. To do that, I'm going to go to my whiteboard effect and I'm going to change it to, if you scroll down here, you'll see um, it will actually allow me to enter from left, right, top, etc. I want to enter from top left and slide down to the bottom. Now, if I enter from top left, I need to actually put this not at the top left because that's just not going to do anything. It's going to enter and stay there. I need to actually put it at the bottom. Let's move that down to here. So if I, I'll just quickly add the color, like I said I could do on the previous slide. Pop that into this one, add blue. I've now got him, oh, is that gray did I pick? Might have to change, whoops, why did that not work? Strange, okay, let's just get out of that. We'll put him back up here on the screen. Oh, there's the blue, that's why I couldn't see it. It's just on his pants. All right, so if I now click on this one, if I play this slide only, you'll see, there he is, he's sliding down very quickly, skiing across. If I stop that, I wanna make that much slower. See how it's only a second in the animation? So I'm gonna move that out all the way out there. Again, we'll move that out to about eight, maybe seven this time. And if I click this one, this will now play much more slowly. And there he is. Skiing across. Now why did it not start right at the beginning? I wonder why that happened. We do have this written, marked as at the beginning. So never mind, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So I'm gonna add some text in here as well again. This time I'm gonna say I did pretty well for a few days. Just throw in the text, move it down to here so it's out of the way of the skier skiing. And Change the text. Um, I did pretty well for a few days. Move that a little bit up in the box here. We'll just adjust that down. Maybe move this up here. And as you can see, you can adjust that to suit yourself. Change the font. I think it's a good idea to keep the font um, standard across all of the slides. And um, we might change uh, this drawing as well. Well, we've already done the animation for that. For this one, will we stick with the hand? I think we will. All right, so I can play this screen, as I said, simply by playing. We already saw that. As that's that guy doing it there. So um, if I want to play the whole thing, I can simply click on number one. And I can either, if I just click this play, it's only gonna play the screen that I'm actually on, that particular one. 
I want to play the whole thing, I use these play buttons here. So if I then play the whole thing, I get the drawing followed by the text that I set up on my holidays. I went skiing and it goes straight into the next screen. I did pretty well for a few days and there's the skier. Now in order to um, uh, complete the rest of my story, I'm going to speed up the rest of this for you and uh, I'll come back at the end. If there's any questions or you see I've done anything that I didn't get a chance to explain, please leave me a comment and I'll happily explain it for you. Um, so here we go, I'm just going to speed up the rest. That's just some of the basics of the Animaker whiteboard tool. There's a lot more we could go into. There are effects that you can add. There is some um, movements that you can add that we haven't seen yet. And of course you can export this. Now, as a free tool, you can only export it to YouTube or Facebook. And um, uh, YouTube is obviously the tool of preference for myself. Um, I believe if you export it to Facebook, it can be a little jerky and jumpy. Um, now, if you want to download it and um, do more and play around with it more and get more characters available to you, then obviously there's a paid version of this that you can um, get into as well. So I hope that at least give you a, some kind of a start on how you might go around playing with Animaker. Thanks very much for being here. Do appreciate it. I'm Aussie Mark, as you remember, and I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment would be lovely. And um, I hope that I can uh, see you on the next one. Bye for now.